Free State Province, um, Kutabancho. So I grew up in a small township where I, I saw like a lot of young women. Um, I don't know, they just, they couldn't, like they didn't believe in themselves so much. Yeah. So they would go to school, some wouldn't even finish school, some would fall pregnant along the way. And then I felt, what am I going to do about it? And when I saw Pout on social network and I asked, what is it about? And then they told me and I said, I would like you guys to come to my province. And they said, actually, you can be an ambassador for the Free State Province so that you can be able to work with other young women to actually be there every step of the way to make sure that they get somewhere in life, that they don't give up along the way or they don't fall pregnant and drop out of school which is one of the things that I'm really, really, um, you know, would like to be involved in yeah, and yeah. work with women. Fantastic. Well, I mean, let's talk about your life. Let's talk about the challenges that you ha may have gone through in trying to succeed. Because, I mean, this industry is not a very easy industry to Definitely succeed in. Not. We all know this. What was your journey like? I studied drama at yeah. um, and then I got my honours, but it wasn't easy still, even on campus, you know, you get your lecture saying, are you sure you want to study drama? Because, yeah. you know, it's a tough industry, you probably won't make it, um, you know, the industry is for black girls, even black girls are suffering, and you're like, um, I thought I was black. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so you, you also question yourself, and you're like, uh, maybe they're right, or maybe they're not right. But then I thought to myself, if I could make it that far, from Tabanchu to Wits University, which is what I've always wanted to be, mm. I mean, to, to do, study drama um, it means I can definitely make it I can push and I can you know be able to act be in the industry and then I made it you know I finally got my big break on a sitcom on SBC two squeezers yeah you don't yeah. watch uh, local television do you I do, yes, I <laughs> do. don't be like that I'm kidding I do except my children won't let me that's the problem yeah they want to watch those I music watch videos. the cartoons no I, I'm, I've, I've still got the three the three-year-olds you know so I, I'm watching yeah cartoons. so I got my break in the sitcom and then I said to myself you know what um you just have to be persistent. You just yeah. have to believe in yourself. You've got the talent and you've got the qualification. The only thing that can stop you is yourself. And when I got my break, I thought, you know what? Many other young women need this opportunity to see that if Bulen can do it, they can definitely do it. Yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm on an article here and where you being interviewed. Oh. And they say, describe yourself in one word. And the one word you use is <laughs> ambitious. I'm very ambitious. Now, is this, is this something that perhaps is needed within all with all women. And I mean, is this really what pout is all about? Is, is using that ambition to make yourself succeed? Yes, I think women, we need, we need self-confidence. We need to believe that we can. You need to believe in yourself and whatever it is that you stand for. You need to be your biggest fan. You need to push yourself forward. You need to wake up in the morning and say, yes, they rejected me. Yes, I couldn't get that job that yeah. I want. I couldn't get that buzzery, but I will go again and try again. I'm not going to stop knocking on those doors until they open for me. I'm very ambitious. I always push for things. I always challenge myself. Um, I always see myself do more than I'm doing currently. So with Pout, it's just a tool for, for them to also reach out to other women out there, and especially in the free state and in small towns where they don't see role models. They grew up in a very small town, so don't, they don't see the life that's out there, that Buleng is in Johannesburg doing this and that. But she's from here, which means if she can do it, I can, I can do, it. do it. Yeah, that's, that's the whole idea. Yeah. I think it's, it's so nice for, you know, sometimes we always look beyond our borders and look overseas and look at um, Hollywood stars mm. and, and look at them and sort of yeah. have them as our icons and role models. Yeah. Whereas we actually need to look closer to home because yeah. we can relate more to people. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the, the, the issue of you being an albino, mm. um, did it play a big role in, in hindering your success or did it not? Did it not feature in your life? Um, I, still go to, I still go to castings and you get uh, directors not knowing what to do with you. Like I said, I'm, I'm just a couple of shades lighter, yeah. you know what I mean? And I've got an advantage. I'm the white looking black girl, so I'm a very <laughs> unique young woman. Yeah. Uh, but then in the industry, this just it's very, like our industry hasn't really advanced, if that's the right word to use. They still, you know, they still say we want dark skinned, uh, like, or maybe yellow bone, you know, the term that they use, yeah. or we want, but for, for a woman like me, they're like, I don't know if she can play that part. And you're thinking, you, you know, the brief says you're looking for a black young woman. Yeah. I am a black young woman and I yeah. can definitely kill that role. What's stopping me from being on front, in front of the camera? I was in a, in a film recently and I get there, I get a script and the part I got, I just, I thought to myself, what am I doing here? How am I making a change if I'm playing the stereotypical roles that are set for young women with albinism out there? Yeah. Am I going to change anything by playing this role? I walked away because I said, if I'm going to teach, the, if I'm going to show people how to be treated, I need to set an example. I need to show them what I would like to be done for Fantastic. me in the industry. 
That is amazing. We're so proud of you. Thank you. You keep doing that because I, I don't think Pout could have found a better ambassador. <laughs> I think <laughs> you, you stand so for everything that it's about. <laughs> if, if, if young ladies want to, do you, is there a website? Is it, do you know the website? Yes, we've got our website already, which was launched on the 9th on Women's Day. Okay. And it's www.poutmovement.co.za. They can movement. find us on Twitter, Pout, at Pout Movement. Also. At Pout Movement. And then that's how we also, they can, can I also give my Twitter handle? Please do. Yes, Please they do. can find me. Uh, Pule which is P-U-L-E-N-G underscore drama um, on Twitter. So okay. if they speak to me, we can see where we can go because we also, I also have a consulting company. If you are in a, you know, you want to do a course in media and you don't know exactly what to do or what it's all about, that's also what I can offer Something you, career you guidance do. as well. Good. Yeah. All right. All the time to punch yourself. I think you deserve <laughs> it. Carry on. Sorry. All right. Poleng, you're a star. Keep <laughs> doing you. what you do best. All right. And uh, that's Poleng Molabate, who is an ambassador for part an organization that has just been formed. Uh, formed. Formed. I'm, I'm all over the place this morning. I have to tell you. It's called the flu. You know? You know that thing? I thought winter was finished, but no, not yet. All right. Poleng, thank you very, very much for joining us. Visit the website, uh, partmovement.co.za. All right. Go and find out all.